All right, so I'm making another video about USGS stream gauges. <clears throat> I'll try to make this one quick. I'm gonna to try to capture the signal, and this one I'm also gonna to try to do a decode. Um, I tried to do a decode in my really long video, but I was too far away. But today, I am, hold on a second. <clears throat> right next to the antenna, there it is. So, it's a vertical Yagi here. In my other video I showed I captured a signal of a um, cross Yagi, and that was aimed at the satellite. This is aimed at a building, or an antenna that's on the ground. There's a little solar panel on that bar too, right just below the antenna also. And then there it is. And then down right over below there is a, a creek. Um, and I'll show you a picture. Um, bam. And there's a little waterfall for it too. And that's the bridge that I was just showing. And I'm parked kind of like right up, right where that, kind of where that picture was taken. And then if you've seen my long video, um, I've showed how I was able to like figure out the timing on some of these gauges. Um, and I was able to figure out this one's every 15 minutes. A very odd time. The next one's going to broadcast at 5.49. So you're going to have to bear with me for about 15 minutes while I explain my setup. Um, I'm using Linux today. I usually, with this, I'll aim towards using Linux because I can run mini modem pretty easily. So I have two dongles running. One for GQRX, just so I can get um, some sound, show what the signal looks like. The frequency is different, it's 170, which is typical of these vertical Yagis that USGS uses. Um, cross Yagis, though, are around 400 for the satellite. So, we have this, and then the other dongle right now is running the uh, mini modem command that was originally, um, what's his name, Christian Parker came up with when monitoring uh, the stream gauges around Colorado, I think. So it's listening right now, and I set the gain to something like 10 on um, RTL FM because uh, I'm so close to the antenna that if you don't have the gain right, if it's too low or too high, you'll just get garbage. Um, if I had set the gain to, I had it set up to 40 earlier, and you'll just see random binary getting um, spewed out here, and it's just complete garbage from this static and noise you're seeing right here because I'm just using the two dongles. I don't have any filters or anything. So, what is it, 547? And what will happen is, when this outputs its binary format, it should hopefully look like um, this alert iFlows data format, um, where when the, for each uh, packet of data it sends out, it's gonna send out, um, well, I guess these four characters, one of them representing an address of the stream gauge, and another one representing the data that is transmitting. Um, it will start right up here in this upper uh, right-hand corner. So you'd have to like read it backwards. So when it gets spewed out, it, oh, I think I just missed it. <laughs> there was the one, that was a little bit early. And we'll see if mini modem caught it. Oh yeah, cool, just like I was saying. So there's the binary now. And see how these first two lines here end in a 10? And then these next two lines here end on 11. Um, that goes to uh, this right here. So see how this is a one and a zero right there? A one and a zero, that's your two tens. And then these next two are the 11s. Oh, sorry, I was paying attention to the screen, not my phone. So there's your two tens that ended it with, and then there's your two 11s. So you kind of have to like read it backwards. And this particular stream gauge actually transmits two different things. There's another packet of data also. I think the first packet, the data here, is the level of the stream. And then the next packet is um, how many times, how much precipitation it has. I think it just transmits how many times the tip bucket's gone. And if you just heard that, there's another one, another stream gauge that I'm able to pick up from here very faintly, and it just broadcast it also. So, <clears throat> and then uh, if I showed the signal, it's just one big spike. Um, I, if I had uh, SDR Sharp, I could zoom in and you could see the, a little bit of the format. Um, so yeah, going back to mini modem, and then again, this is that new packet that just came over. Sometimes there'll be some garbage, um, where it will be all ones right in front, but this is the packet from the other one. Again, ending in the two tens, and again in 11. And then what you would do, and I think Christian Parker did this also on his page, is you would just pipe this output into like a Python script, and then say, remove these zeros. I do it the lazy way. <laughs> I just write it down on uh, pencil and paper. And then there's just decoding everything like that. <laughs> but you would eventually just write a code for like like that. So yeah, I, here I go. Just showed that a decode works. 
Um, I haven't figured out how to do satellites yet, so if anybody wants to do that, be my guest. Thanks for watching.